Okay, this is more for the benefit of people who are either planning or thinking about getting into the game or just started the game. Uh, this is my third playthrough. Uh, I am in the late stages of the game. I have uh, accomplished almost everything except I'm working on the last project for the space elevator which is more of a bragging rights thing than anything else. Uh, I am still not at the level of some of these YouTubers who spend the whole day trying to make the most elegant looking functional factories that fall, you know, sculpt into the environment. Mine are still kind of ragtag looking. Uh, I have gotten neater at it. This, when I first started, this was my starting point here with the hub. When I first started, this was pretty much a hodgepodge mess of belts all over the place. I have been slowly cleaning it up and labeling things. In case I ever come back to the game, I want to, you know, I want to have tags on everything to tell me how much everything is producing and what's being produced. Basically, OCD stuff. This is a great game for people who are OCD like me. So, uh, yeah. So I'm going to give you a quick tour. This is the system I, I went for this time, basically a super tall conveyor system running in a loop because when this gets to the other end, everything comes back again. And it's not necessarily the most efficient. Uh, it's actually probably better not to have it in a continuous loop because the problem is every time something peels off, if, if you have barely enough of whatever you need, uh, it, half of it still gets split at every tee off. So some of it's going to get looped back around instead of going to use. So uh, sometimes you need to just break the, the, the loop just to force all the materials at the end to go somewhere. You also want to break the loop to force materials to go into the sink if you need to sink something. Like uh, silica, if you produce too much silica, pr silica production stops, with which backs up your petroleum systems. Anyway, quick tour here in my little buggy first. Not the most efficient way to travel, but uh, lets you see how things look. Like I said, this used to be a real mess originally. Ooh, God, this thing's tough to drive. I've tried to neaten it up and make it look a little more logical and sensible tried to get belts off the ground and use uh, underground or underfloor belts whenever I can just to clean up the look. And I basically started the factory on the far end and worked my way down here and just kept adding and adding and adding. And as usual, when I get to the end is where I build my nukes. So I built a little nuke island here. Actually, I'm entering the wrong way. Let me go in the right way. This is the nuke alley with plenty of warnings to let you know you're about to go into a radioactive area. So like I said, a uh, very end game here. I have tons of power, more power than I'll ever need. I'm, I'm running a, a really large turbo fuel generator plant on the other side of the map and the uh, four nukes here and just ridiculous amounts of power. And let me just switch to this so we can get a view. So yeah, water coming in for the nukes from there. That's the start of the factory way over there where the space elevator is. Lately I've been going kind of uh, OCD color coding all my pipes so at a glance I know what's in them. Uh, like sulfuric acid is the bright yellow. Nitric acid is the dull yellow, blue is water. Like I said, if I come back to this particular 
save game later on. I want to be able to figure out what I was doing. Uh, now, the best way to travel in this game is catapults. Really isn't no other good way to travel. Let me switch back to... Hold on. Jetpack, because without the jetpack you will die. Whoops. Uh, you, need to, you need to actually have... Uh, the technology for this and they're supposed to be used as hyper tubes to take you from one place to another but they work much better as catapults and uh, you need the jetpack otherwise when you land on the other end you will die if you can't stop yourself this just takes me back to the other end of the factory Okay, so this is back in the beginning here again. This is my little catapult station that takes me everywhere. Um, the best new addition in the game in recent times has been the blueprint machine. I've just started playing with this. Um, makes it easy to build tedious things like, uh, I'll give you an example, when I'm building the catapults. i got to build them in two pieces because they won't fit in here. But at least I can just load one piece at a time and then place it. If I wanted to start building that, I could come over here and go build blueprint, catapult one of two, ta da! And then I can go catapult two of two and I need to stick it right on the end oh it doesn't look like I have enough material to finish this but that's all right you get the idea and I've been playing around with modular factories I've got one running on the other side of the map Let's see if I can load one I don't know if I have all the parts uh, da -da. Starter factory. Yep, here we go. So this is just a nice little design for starter factory I found um, on YouTube that lets you plonk it down somewhere and just get all the basics. And if you feed it uh, three belts of raw materials, iron ore, limestone and copper it'll spit out iron rods iron plates screws wire cable concrete all the basic stuff you need to get started now of course you can't use this in the beginning of the game because you don't have the technology for the blueprint machine until you're at uh, stage four but uh, like it's really nice, for instance, if I want to start a new map and I want to go ahead and start with all the tech and I'm just into building things and this could be really nice. It's also nice to get started on a new area of the map uh, building stuff without having to lug it all over there. I have one of these set up on, on the other side of the map where I haven't been playing much yet. Let me delete this. Here goodies uh, let's head over to the power plant stop in time here that's my turbo power plant, turbo fuel power plant. Oh, not good. I am out of go juice. I might crash and die. Oh, got lucky. Didn't handle that too well. Switch to the fan pack. I can fly over this. So I've been neatening this up too. This was just a tangle of pipes originally and I started color coding. And I 
making it just look better, easier to access. Put these catwalks in so I can actually walk around in here without having to hop over the pipes. And there's 60 of these generators on each row here. Plus another, I think, 30 on the other end. And this is like all the power you need. I mean, if you're if you're generating power on this level, whoops, I forgot the color code one here. There we go. If you're generating power on this scale, you actually don't need nukes. To be honest with you, nukes is just more of a challenge for the end game. But this turbo power setup here is like way more power than I'll ever need. I mean, you can check, see the power graph. Orange is what I'm using. Blue is the max everything I've built could possibly use. And the power is way up here. So, I mean, I just, I'm using 16,000 megawatts and I have 63,000 megawatts available. It's just ridiculous. Are all the refineries here producing the fuel? And I have some more older power plants over here, not running turbo fuel, this is just running regular fuel. I haven't converted this over, I don't know if it's worth it. This was my first fuel plant, just to get going after I built coal. Coal plant's still running. Honestly, don't need it anymore. It's just a drop in the bucket, but I've just left it running. So let's see. Uh, I can show you that little... Oops, a little glitchy. Show you that little... Starter factory I had a blueprint for. If I can spot it. Okay, we're saving, so there we go. It's just the auto save. There it is. So I haven't really done anything much in this area, so I plonked this thing down here because there's there's mines all around here. The, Copper ore. Iron ore over there and some limestone right there, so I figured this was a good spot. And as you can see, if you supply it with 60 a minute of all three of those, it just uh, It just cranks out all your basic goodies you need. Okay, can I get up here? Uh, I'm blocked, okay. Didn't make this super accessible. Here we go. Although the roof is open, so I can always go out that way. So, you know, each floor is making one thing or a couple of things. And right now I'm just throwing all that stuff in the containers so that uh, if I want to start working on anything over here, I'll have uh, all the basic supplies without having to truck it all over from base camp. There's nothing much else over here except a couple of uh, mines for some rare elements that I don't have on the other side. And got a catapult to get back. Make sure I turn the jetpack back on. Definitely the best way to get around this game. Just little short taps on the jet so I don't use up all the fuel.
Yes, you can control the direction of flight. And just use the jetpack to break yourself or keep yourself in the air. There we go. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, over on the other end here, the old coal power plants that aren't doing much for me anymore. And I have fog turned off, otherwise when I launch this high, I'd, I'd be in the clouds. Wouldn't be able to see the ground. There's the old coal plant there. And I have a couple of factories here making plastic and rubber because there's a couple of oil wells here. And instead of running belts all the way out here, I'm just using the, the drone transportation system. The drones are cool. I haven't gotten into the trains. I the trains seem like a lot of work to get right, but the drones are pretty darn good. Just plonk down a uh, drone port where you need it and just uh, set up uh, a route. So this guy's dropping off an empty container, getting a container full of rubber. And off he goes. Back to the main factory. Drones still lag the game a little bit. By the way, I am running uh, Experimental 8, which is the... The game has been converted over to Unreal Engine 5 from 4, instead of the... the regular non-experimental branch, which is still on Unreal Engine 4. Uh, 8's running fine. Uh, there are some quality of life improvements that I appreciate, so... Oh, I left some goodies here, okay. So I went ahead and just went for 8, and I've been enjoying it. It hasn't been too bad. Performance has been reasonable. There's still some areas that lag a little bit because they haven't been optimized, but uh, no major bugs, no major problems. Yeah. Run. Uh, I like I like the new uh, tall power towers. Makes it a heck of a lot easier to get power long distances. This is the old coal plant, coal power plant, really totally unnecessary. I could disconnect it right now and it would be just a blip on that power graph, it's not producing all that much. Each one of these is just producing 75 megawatts. I mean, you need them in the early game, but uh, I could shut them down if I needed the coal for something, which I really don't right now. I've got plenty of coal. And my one experiment with making a building that actually looks like a building, a factory that looks like a building, I mean, nothing architecturally startling or anything, just instead of just sitting out in the open, this is just making uh, compacted coal for the uh, turbo fuel power plants. And back home. It's funny, this is such a huge map to get around with ground get around on on foot, but when you're up here it just looks like nothing. Yeah, 
and this is my warehouse where I got all my goodies. Rubber, circuit boards. This was originally just a tangled mess of belts in all kinds of haphazard ways. I finally tore all this down recently and rebuilt it nice and neat and elegant. So it doesn't look like uh, just a spider's web of nonsense. And like I said, anywhere I could, I tried to do some underground, under the floor stuff so that uh, you're not tripping over belts crossing right above your head or at shin height. Oops. I should have switched. So you can see I got some belts just hiding down here and some plumbing. And this was a underground ramp garage I made for when I was still using uh, one of the vehicles. So I had an easy way to get out of this factory and out onto the open without getting stuck because I just started building so much here there was just no easy way out of here. Don't need that anymore now that I got the catapults. So that's about it. Lots of backup battery power. The belt is about almost as high as is practical. I actually had to put these power poles in so that my drone pack or rotor pack or whatever the heck it is I'm using now, the one that lets you just hover and fly, not the jet pack. This one's great when you're working in the factory. Um, you need to be close to a power node for it to work and this is so high off the ground and all the power poles down on the ground and that was just another pause for the, uh, the, the automatic save game every 10 minutes if you've never played the game you get used to that um, you have to have one of these nodes close by to fly if, uh, if I was just depending on the node that was on the ground I wouldn't be able to fly this high so this is the only way I can get up here to the top of the belts Well, I guess that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Hope you get into Satisfactory, if it's your kind of game. Uh, definitely uh, a different sort of game. If you like building things, like if you're into Minecraft or something, uh, this is kind of on a different level because you really got to think about how much of every part you're producing, how much of every resource you're using, and do you have enough to produce the other things you need. So there's a little bit of math involved. Uh, it's not terrible. I just use a spreadsheet to keep track of things. How much uh, coal am I using and how much steel that produces and how much um, steel pipe I'm producing and how much I'm using so I know that if I'm getting close to you know the max amount I'm making I can go ahead and adjust you know make another assembler to make some more that's uh, it's a very satisfying game in that way where you've got to constantly manage your resources in order to achieve your goals I've been enjoying it well have fun <laughs>